Hi friends, thanks for joining in for today's video. Uh, the topic will be loose leash walking with your dog. Um, that's a big topic in today's dog world. There I see a lot of people struggling with their dogs. They don't know how to handle their dogs. They're pulling on the leash, on the harness, on the collar. And um, I will show you today what I need or what I train, how I train the loose leash walking. What do I need for this? I have a leather leash that's about one and a half meters long. I have food. I have my clicker as always. I have a ball as reward. And I have the evil retractable leash that nobody knows how to use it. But um, yeah, I will show you how I do my leash walking with all these tools and yeah, let's go. So as promised, here's my German Shepherd. Uh, like I said before, he's about one and a half years old um, and um, I haven't done much leash walking with him. I did a few sessions when he was young, but uh, yeah, I try to fix that now and I'm gonna show you how I do it. Um, so due to he's doing the IGP and monitoring, um, he always is uh, used to walk on my left side. But when I do the leash walking, I want him to not walk on my left side because otherwise maybe this will create some problems in the heel work on the training field. So that's why I do the loose leash walking on the right side. This is also uh, good if you walk on the street and um, you walk with the flow from the cars, the dog is always away from the side where the cars are driving. So I'm gonna show you just a little bit how I do it and um, yeah, if I see something, I will tell you why and how and what I do. So in the beginning, uh, the, leash, the, loose, the leash is loose. If the dog is too far in front, I just turn and go. So there's a little bit pressure on the neck of the dog, but um, it's nothing that hurts the dog. It's just an a little bit uncomfortable feeling. So the dog learns how to focus on me and not walk in front of me. So dog is always on the right side. You see now the dog is a little bit more concentrating on me. And if I see, uh huh, the dog's concentrated a few steps uh, and it's looking to me and it's not pulling on the leash, I click and I reward. So we do one more time. Dog's always on the right side. There's no, no tension on the leash. You see I did this a few times and uh huh, I see, dog's not concentrated, I just turn. I don't hurt the dog, I don't punch the dog, I don't punish the dog. Good boy. If the dog does very good, loose leash, I give him the command and then I switch the reward to a ball because the ball is more high value for the dog. I play a little bit with the dog and as you can see, there's no pinch collar, no choke collar. It's just a chain on the flat ring and a flat collar with uh, no pinch, no spikes, no nothing. So nothing will hurt the dog. Good, good. Now I take away the ball, take the leash and just walk with a loose leash. Leash is loose, I walk, the dog's focused on me and if I see uh -huh, the dog's focused on somewhere else, I just turn around. So the dog gets interrupted by doing the other things he does, and I just walk. Dog's not concentrated, I just turn. Aha, uh -huh. the dog noticed, oh, we're turning, and now he's back focused on me. And I just hold the leash with two fingers. Now I turn again, dog's not concentrated. Aha. Uh -huh. And then I reward the dog. Some dogs get it faster, some dogs it takes a little bit longer and it depends for how long your dog was allowed to pull on the leash. So that's why 
with him it worked a little bit better um, but it's like you see there's no pulling and no punching on the collars just a little bit interrupting the dog in being interested in something else and you do this a few times and the dog knows aha uh -huh. when I look to my handler um, I get, don't get interrupted on the collar and um, I get my reward either it's food or a ball so now I'm gonna show you what I do with that evil retractable leash in this exercise when I do the leash walking with a loose leash I don't allow the dog to sniff or to pee or to do whatever because otherwise I have to stop every five meters and when I want to walk through the street or through the city uh, I don't want to stop every five meters so that's why my dogs me personally they are not allowed um, to do something else than just walking right next to me on the short leash for other purposes I have the evil retractable leash and um, this is a signal for the dog I clip it on the flat collar so again no pinch collar no nothing um, I just clip it in I unclip the short leash and that's the signal for my dog now you have free time you can pull on the leash you can pull on the collar and you're free and allowed to sniff to pee and to do whatever Up. so you see there's no tension the dog knows okay there's no restriction from the leash and he can do whatever he wants to I see the dog is shaping now he's looking for what he has to do to get his ball so yeah Up. so this is this is basically um, how I walk in the woods or when nobody's around I just let the dog be a dog on the on the flexi and there are no rules on the flexi and I know the dog can make a difference on which color uh, which leash is clipped on so when I clip it on the on the on the chain he knows aha uh -huh, I'm not allowed to pull we do a leash walking with a loose leash and on the flat collar with a flexi leash he can do whatever he wants to so that's basically how I build up my leash walking what you just saw I can hopefully he does it again this this is what I call shaping um, what I do with young dogs I do a little bit pre-shaping to open the dog's mind so the dog's always um, searching for what he has to do to get his reward to get his ball to get some food so there are good things about it like you can do different behaviors without luring and the dog is open-minded and the bad thing about that is um, yeah when you go it's not nothing bad I mean if you go on a walk and he does mm, let's try if I put my paws on that stone and maybe I get my reward it's nothing really bad but um, I will do a separate video about shaping and luring I hope this was an interesting video for you and um, if you like what you saw like my video share my video and subscribe to my channel so you not miss the upcoming videos and um, if you write down in the comments if it worked for you I would really appreciate it so we see you in the next video and um, yeah that's it for now bye bye